resilience. It's not some magical quality. It's something that really can be built, even in difficult circumstances. The key active core ingredient to building resilience are the relationships the kids have to others who care about them. Of course, families play a very important role, but nobody raises children in isolation. We have a huge amount of research to show the powerful impacts of teachers, coaches, other adults in the community with whom children have a chance to develop relationships who play that critical supportive role of building resilience. As a result of responsive interaction, children build simple skills of coping and adapting. How to stop crying, how to regulate your behavior, being able to defer gratification. You have an adaptive toolkit that allows you at moments of stress or challenge to bring out a number of potential skills that allow you to get through it. As children get older, the sophistication of those skills increases. Being able to monitor situations, solve problems. The way we as a society can nurture the development of resilience is to help communities to pay more attention to building the capabilities of the adults who care for children and provide the supports they need to tip the scales toward more positive life outcomes. And then when communities say, we want to be an active part of crafting the solution to really understand what's necessary to produce the resilience, that that's when the ball gets rolling. Resilience building, capacity building, is really in everyone's interest and everyone reaps the benefits when we do that well.